गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन लेट्स कंटिन्यू अवर चैप्टर फूड एंड डाइजेशन इन माय लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट डिफरेंट न्यूट्रिएंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बैलेंस्ड डाइट डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड एंड फूड प्रिजर्वेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज बैलेंस्ड diet the food we eat is called diet i once again repeat the definition what is diet or balanced diet the food we eat is called diet and you know that our food contain contains nutrients like carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals so the right amount of all these nutrients in right proportion is called balanced diet children the picture shows some food items that makes a balanced diet and in order to stay healthy we should eat food items from of each of these food group daily see here children vitamins and minerals carbohydrates proteins fats and milk products these are food groups for good health and proper growth it is important to have a balanced diet so next is digestion of food now let us see what is digestion you all know that food gives us energy to work play etc but your body cannot directly use the food that you eat to give you energy the food that you eat like rice meat vegetables and fruits is broken down into smaller forms this breaking down of food into simpler forms inside your body is called digestion i once again repeat the definition the breaking down of food into simpler form inside your body is called digestion the blood takes the digested food to all parts of our body digestion takes place in your body in number of steps there are several organs in the body as shown in the figure given that help in the digestion they are mouth salivary glands food pipe stomach small intestine liver pancreas large intestine and anus together these organs make a pure digestive system now let us see the digestion process in detail The process of digestion starts in the mouth. When you chew your food, your teeth break the food down into smaller pieces. The sharp front teeth. See here children in the diagram. These are front teeth. The sharp front teeth help to bite and cut the food into smaller pieces. The flat teeth which are at the back help to the grind the food into the paste clear children okay next is salivary glands saliva is a digestive juices that is found in the mouth see here children saliva s a l i v a saliva is a digestive juice that is found in the mouth it is made by salivary glands of our body when you chew the food your tongue helps the food to mix with the saliva with the food this softens the food so that it can be swallowed easily later tongue pushes the food into food pipe
नेक्स्ट इज फूड पाइप सी हेयर चिल्ड्रन आई हैव टेकन हेयर डायग्राम सी हेयर चिल्ड्रन इन डायग्राम दिस इज फूड पाइप फूड पाइप इज अ थीन लॉन्ग ट्यूब विच कनेक्ट्स मोथ टू द स्टमक सी हेयर इन डायग्राम फूड पाइप इज अ थीन लॉन्ग ट्यूब विच कनेक्ट्स मोथ टू द स्टमक सी हेयर चिल्ड्रन मोथ टू द स्टमक द फूड पासस इन टू स्टमक थ्रू फूड पाइप द फूड पासस इन टू स्टमक थ्रू फूड पाइप सी हेयर चिल्ड्रन द फूड पासस थ्रू इन टू स्टमक थ्रू फूड पाइप नेक्स्ट इज स्टमक वॉट हैपन्स इन द स्टमक सी हेयर चिल्ड्रन स्टमक इज अ बैग लैक ऑर्गन सी हेयर इन डायग्राम स्टमक इज अ बैग लैक ऑर्गन द स्टमक मसल्स मिक्स द फूड विथ मोर डायजेस्टिव ज्यूसेस दिस ज्यूसेस स्टार्ट टू ब्रेक डाउन द प्रोटीन्स एंड फैट्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन द फूड इन टू सिंपलर सब्सटेंसेस द फूड रिमेन्स इन द स्टमक फॉर अप टू थ्री अवर्स रिजन हेयर चिल्ड्रन द फूड रिमेन्स इन द स्टमक फॉर अप टू थ्री अवर्स नेक्स्ट इज डाइजेशन इन द स्मॉल इंटस्टाइन सी हेर चिल्ड्रन इन पिक्चर फ्रॉम द स्टमक द फूड पासस इन टू द स्मॉल इंटस्टाइन द स्मॉल इंटस्टाइन लुक्स लाइक अ लॉन्ग कॉइल्ड ट्यूब सी हेर चिल्ड्रन लुक्स लाइक अ लॉन्ग कॉइल्ड ट्यूब द इनर वॉल्स ऑफ द स्मॉल इंटस्टाइन प्रोड्यूस सर्टन जूसेस नेक्स्ट इज लिवर एंड पैनक्रियाज अदर ऑर्गन्स सच एज अ लिवर एंड पैनक्रियाज ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस ज्यूसेस विच आर प्यूवर्ड इन टू द स्मॉल इंटस्टाइन द फूड मिक्सस विथ दीज ज्यूसेस एंड इज कंप्लीटली डायजेस्टेड द डायजेस्टेड फूड इज एब्जॉर्ब इन टू द ब्लड द ब्लड कैरीज द डायजेस्टेड फूड टू ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी The digested food is used to produce energy. This is liver and this is pancreas. I once again repeat the functions of liver and pancreas. Other organs such as the liver and pancreas also produces juices which are pewered into the small intestine. The food mixes with these juices and is completely digested. the digested food is absorbed into the blood the blood carries the digested food to all parts of the body the digested food is used to produce energy clear children okay next is large intestine some parts of food cannot be digested by our body they pass into a pipe like organ called large intestine see here in diagram pipe like organ see here this is pipe like organ It is called large intestine large intestine absorb the water from the undigested food the solid waste that remains passes out of your body through the opening called the anus see here children the solid waste that remains passes out of your body through the opening 
called the anus this is called anus children now let us see the path of food through the digestive system see here i have taken one picture so when you eat the food the food from the mouth see here children when you eat the food the food from the mouth it goes into the food pipe it goes into the food pipe then it goes to the stomach then it goes to the stomach then small intestine then large intestine and then undigested food goes out through the anus children there are certain healthy eating habits we have to follow let us see what are they see here children in picture first one always eat a balanced diet then second one drink plenty of water water helps in proper digestion of the food you also know that you must with you must wash your hands well with soap and water before you eat eat food at fixed times next chew your food properly before swallowing next rinse your mouth thoroughly after eating next rest for a while after eating last is eat lots of vegetable and fruits so students if you follow this good habits we will have proper digestion of food and will remain healthy now you can see the complete picture of the digestive system see here children this is complete picture of digestive system first part of the digestive system is mouth mouth is the entry point of the food listen here mouth is the entry point of the food digestive system that starts with the mouth and end at the anus listen here children digestive system that starts with the mouth and end at the anus next is cooking food children see here i have taken cooking food image cooking makes the food easily digestible it also makes the food delicious to cook the food we boil fry bake or roast see here children cooking methods are boiling frying baking and roasting these are methods of cooking heat kills harmful germs present in it remember children steamed food is healthy healthier than fried food next is food preservation what is a food preservation i will explain you the storing of food by stopping the growth of bacteria and fungi is called food preservation i once again repeat the definition what is food preservation 
the storing of food by stopping the growth of bacteria and fungi is called food preservation all fruits vegetables and cooked food get spoiled at a room temperature after some time such foods give fuel smell and taste this is because microbes start growing in it if the growth of microbes are stopped the food can be stored for later use next is different ways in which food can be preserved are different ways are first one sun drying second one freezing or refrigeration third one canning fourth one salting fifth one boiling sixth one dehydration and last is keeping in sugar syrup children i have taken some pictures see here first method is low temperature see here children in picture this is fridge first method is low temperature means germs cannot grow at a low temperature storing fruits vegetables fish etc in a refrigerator clear children next second method is boiling when boil the water germs cannot grow then third is canning food is canned and sealed air tight containers then fourth dehydration dehydration means remove water by drying the food clear children okay next salting next method is salting salt it as in pickles pickles are best examples of salting method next keeping in sugar syrup some fruits are many time preserved in a sugar syrup and lastly sun drying this is sun drying last method is sun drying preserved preservation of food through removal of moisture from it by drying it in sunlight so these are the different methods of food preservation so students in this video we discussed about balanced diet digestion of the food and food preservation in my next video we will solve exercise question answer thank you children stay home stay safe have a nice day